Hi, and welcome to the Midmark DC Generator and DR Sensor Overview. First, we will take a look at the Operator Panel. We will look at the Tooth Selection Options. We'll go down and select the Receptor Options. We will look at the Patient Size Options. And then we will cover the manual adjustments you can make on the Operator Panel. Here is our Operator Panel. Let's take a look at the tooth selection options. Whatever tooth you select on the machine, it'll automatically set itself for that area of the mouth. The first tooth is the lower canine. Second is the upper canine. Third is the upper and lower incisors. Then we move to the mandibular premolars and molars. And then finally, the maxillary upper fourth and the molars. There are three options for receptors. First is going to be the digital sensor. It has a little computer on it. The second is regular speed film. And then third is going to be the CR or phosphor plate technology. Let's put it back to the digital sensor. Here's the patient selection buttons. We have canine and feline options. Anything under 30 pounds, I will use the feline settings for. Now there are several options for manual adjustments. These up or down arrows, you can adjust the time with these arrows. It'll lighten or darken an image. The arrow over button will highlight one of the preset settings and then you can manually adjust that. When you highlight and you do a manual adjustment, it will only be in effect for that one image. As soon as you go back to selecting the preset tooth selection options, it will automatically go back to the defaulted preset settings for those particular teeth. Now we'll talk about the corded remote exposure button. On your mobile units, this will be right on the side of your operator panel. We wanna make sure we get six feet from the primary beam of the x-ray tube head. We also wanna let everyone know when we are acquiring an image. We're going to press and hold the button until the beep stops. And we'll talk about what happens if you let up on that button too early. What you're going to do, once you've positioned your sensor and your tube head, you can take this corded remote and you need to get six feet from behind the primary beam of the x-ray tube head. So what that means is anybody that is in front of this beam pointing this way needs to step six feet back or get behind the primary beam. So we wanna get our six feet back. What I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna take two acquisitions here, one, you're gonna see that I let up on the button a little too early and it's gonna give us an error message. And the second time will be the right way. So I'm gonna go ahead and push the button and let up on it a little too soon. And you'll notice the generator beeped and it says on there pre-termination error, which means that we just let up on the button a little too early. So if you do hear that, indication you'll wait for the machine to reset itself and then what i want you to do is hold this button down until the beep stops so we're going to hold this down the beep stop now we can let up and now we will get our image now we'll talk about how to prepare and protect your sensor each patient gets a new protective sheath and also, it's very important that the patients are on a surgical plane of anesthesia before acquiring your x-ray images. So this is the sensor you will be getting um, in your hospitals. This is a three meter cable sensor, and it's going to come inside this case right here. Now, inside this case, when you open it up, if you lift up this top piece of styrofoam, underneath, you're gonna find a package of sensor sheets. These you're gonna use for each new patient and it's going to protect the sensor from cross-contamination. 
So we're going to leave these in the box for now, but I suggest you find a space um, nearby where you're doing procedures to keep these handy. And then you're gonna put a new sheath on for every new patient that you do dental x-ray procedures on. So it's very easy to use. You're gonna lift up this white tab here and slide your sensor in. And you're gonna push it all the way in here and then you're gonna just kind of ease it up the rest of the way. And then there's a front and a back piece of plastic that you can remove. And now your sensor has the sheath on it and it's ready to go in a patient's mouth. One of the things that's really important when doing dental x-rays with this sensor is that your patients have to be on a surgical plane of anesthesia before this can go in. This is a very durable sensor, um, but it can be damaged. If a patient wakes up and really bites down on it, you can get damage to this sensor. So it's very important your patients are on a surgical plane of anesthesia and you'll keep this sensor for a very, very long time. Cleaning and storing your sensor. So when the procedure's over, you can remove your sensor sheath covering. And if you need to clean the sensor, you don't want to dunk it in a, a solution overnight. It is waterproof, but how we want you to clean this is to use an EPA approved disinfectant and you can go ahead and wipe the sensor and the cabling down. So that's how you're gonna keep it clean. And then also when you're done doing dental x-rays for the day, you're gonna coil this back up and place it back into the carrying case that it came in so that it stays safe. And make sure everyone in your hospital knows where this is being stored in case you have different people doing procedures on a different day. Thank you so much for trusting Midmark with your dental digital DR system. If you have any questions or concerns, please call our customer or technical service department at 1-800-MIDMARK. Thanks again.